You've been transitioning to a service-oriented architecture, and you see many benefits with the change. Teams are moving faster since they're able to iterate more frequently, leading to greater innovations. However, distributed systems often means distributed teams, and ensuring every critical system is in tip-top shape for the sales event of the season won't be easy because keeping an up-to-date inventory of who owns what and a real-time pulse on every running part of every service often looks like this spreadsheet. It's a siloed, manual, and error-prone method for keeping track of preparation such as last load test, last deployment, infra count, and more in an ever-changing microservices environment. Introducing Service Catalog. Service Catalog is your central hub for everything services related, including your service's real-time performance, owners, contact information, and incident response playbooks, along with SLOs, alerts, deployments, and real-time security signals and vulnerabilities all in one place. Service Catalog automatically comes pre-filled with your services if you're already using any telemetry in Datadog. And if you need more comprehensive coverage of every dependency, you can leverage Datadog Universal Service Monitoring to automatically discover and populate them into the Service Catalog. Let's hop in and see Service Catalog in action. To evaluate your system's production readiness and adherence to industry best practices at scale, use scorecards. Scorecards are reports for benchmarking progress in different categories. Right out of the box, you have categories for production readiness, ownership and documentation, and observability best practices. Every category is further subdivided into a list of investments or pass-fail rules, which allow you to pinpoint your organization's progress on any investments, such as a mandate for all Tier 1 services to have at least one SLO configured. You can further slice and dice scorecards by application, service tier, service lifecycle, and more to better understand where to focus or prioritize your investments. And for every rule, it comes with a description that explains why Datadog is recommending that investment. For example, SLOs are critical for any production service, and it appears there are a few teams that are lagging behind. You can also get a scorecard report for the entire team or for a particular service, giving you the visibility to measure how teams, applications, and services are benchmarking to industry best practices and to prioritize next steps, such as whether to initiate communication with specific teams so you can remind them to bump up their scores and preparation for the annual sales event of the season. And if you want to better understand the interrelationships between different microservices or capture the cascading dependencies between services and teams, turn to the service map. The service map is where you can see a visual representation of all the services and the teams that own them, such as the Shopis team. And as you hover over each service, you can also use the arrows that appear to understand cross-team dependencies, or how services are interconnected with services from other teams so you can identify who is relying on what and mitigate operational risks too. And at any time, you can switch from the map view to the list view in Service Catalog to get visibility into additional dimensions for every service or dependency. Similar to the map view, you can easily filter down to the services owned by a specific team and get all relevant information for the services owned by that team at the ready, including the key health metrics, reliability status, and more in a single place. And on each service's side panel, you have additional context that's available, such as dependencies, libraries, and more. And to ensure your viewpoint and efforts are exhaustive, you have the option of adding various software not already being monitored by Datadog, such as an internal library or a cron job into Service Catalog. Adding a new service requires only a few clicks. And an automatically generated curl command appears too for you to reference and use later so you can do it in bulk. 
And if you ever want to further streamline the management process, Service Catalog has built-in integrations with a Terraform module, open source GitHub Actions, and with GitHub for you to leverage native GitOps workflows to ensure your service metadata are updated with every new deployment. These automations help you roll out Service Catalog across the organization and easily have your latest service metadata right where your real-time observability and security data lives. So try for yourself and see how Datadog Service Catalog helps you simplify your service governance and centralize your DevSecOps today.